Hello guys, in this video we are going to implement multiple AI agents for real world use cases using Crew AI and Google Gemini model. Now why Google Gemini? Because if you go in the Crew AI documentation, right? Uh, so if you probably just go and click on get started here by default, uh, the kind of LLM model any agent requires is specifically OpenAI API key. Now you know that OpenAI API key is a paid model. So we will not go ahead with that, you know, and uh, obviously many people want a lot of examples specifically how we can use open source LLM models or Google Gemini, which is like freely available. We can use it for 60 queries per minute, I guess, right? If you probably go ahead and see the documentation of Google Gemini Pro. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you that example and the LLM model that we are going to use is Google Gemini Pro. Now, the best thing about this video uh, will be that I will be starting completely from scratch. Uh, we will develop some use cases related multiple AI agents and this AI agents will also be interacting with each other, right? So let me just go ahead and open my coding environment. So this is my entire coding environment right now. Here you'll be able to find out some folders. I have already created my environment, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, I've already created my virtual environment along with that I have my ENV keys because uh, I will be using Google Gemini API key along with that I will also be using one tool which I will be talking about and then you'll also be able to see requirement.txt. Now let me show you that how I have started creating the environment over here. So first of all uh, in order to create the environment you have to use conda create minus p venv python double equal to 3.10 okay so i am going to use the 3.10 environment over here along with this by default you have to give dash y so that the installation will start start taking place and your virtual environment will get created so please do this because i have already done that and once this entire things gets executed then you'll be able to see that i will be having a vnv environment perfect uh, once you do this uh, the next thing is that uh, we will go ahead and uh, create our requirement.txt. Now in this requirement.txt, I'm going to use Crew AI. Along with that, uh, since we are using Google Gemini, so in Langchain, you have this Langchain underscore Google underscore Gen AI. So this is the library that we are going to use to interact with any Gemini models. Along with that, uh, you'll also be able to see load underscore dot env so that any environment variable that I will be creating, I will be able to call all the environment variables in any code by using this. Okay, so these are some basic information and now let's go ahead and start our coding. Okay, as usual, uh, first of all, we will go ahead and create our task.py. Along with that, we will go ahead and create our agents.py, um, agents.py and uh, task is there, agent is there and then one more that we are going to create is tools.py and finally, we will also be creating our uh, crew.py so that we will be able to execute the code or we'll be able to start our entire process. Okay, so all these things has been created. Now let's start writing one by one. As usual, uh, what I am actually going to do, first of all, I'm going to probably go ahead and create my agents and I will start writing my agents. Now uh, over here, uh, there are two things uh, which I'll be mentioned. One is which search tool I will be using along with that which LLM model like Google Gemini, right? For that, you will be requiring an API key. So first of all, uh, let's go ahead and uh, import some of the important libraries like crew AI, import agent, okay? So this is the first library that I'll be using. And as you all know that I have to create my agents over here itself. But before that, I will go ahead and import from .env, import load underscore .env, right? Then uh, here you'll be able to again see load underscore dot env. I will be calling it so that it will load all my environment variable. Now we are going to set the or call the Gemini model, call the Gemini model, right? Now in order to call the Gemini models, uh, one important library that we are going to specifically use over here is from langchain underscore Google underscore gen ai we are going to import chat google generative ai okay so chat google generative ai so this is the library that we are going to specifically use and then i will use this library and use uh, llm variable over here 
and some information that I really need to give over here is first of all what model name I want so here I'll be giving my model name second uh, I will also set the parameter of verbose to true so that I will be able to see almost all the details when it is getting executed then you have temperature which will be equal to 0.5 and then here we also need to give our Google API key which we will be calling from our environment variable that is os.getenv and here we are also going to use my Google API key right Google API key now this key has been created in my environment variable which I will again show it to you so this all suggestion are specifically coming oh my god so many different different suggestions are coming but I'll remove this because I don't require it so I will be uh, using this os.getenv uh, which is nothing but google underscore api key so once this is done uh, so this is my llm model now obviously this google api key here you'll be able to see that in my environment variable i have already created one right google underscore api key and uh, with the help of this api key i'll be able to call any models that i want specifically with respect to google gemini pro okay now if i go to back to my agents how do we create this api key so for that you have to go to ai studio.google.com slash app slash api key once you go to this page just click on get api key okay so once you click on get api key here you'll be able to see create api key select uh, the one of the project by default project and just go ahead and create it once you're able to create it you'll be able to get a api key itself okay Again, my suggestion would be don't use this whatever I have used because I'm going to delete it after the video is getting recorded. Okay, so here uh, you can probably see my entire LLM model over here, right? And uh, with the help of this specific LLM model, we will be using this in while we create our agents. Okay, now uh, let me just go ahead and create some of the agents over here. So first step will be that I will be creating a senior research agent. And this particular research agent will be doing some amazing research. So I will be creating a variable called as researcher. And this will be nothing but agent. Now inside this researcher and in this agent, I have to provide my role. So role will be nothing but senior researcher. Okay. The next is nothing but goal, which will be uncover ground, ground breaking technologies i will talk about the problem statement what i am going to probably do in this okay so here uh, i am trying to create an ai agent which will be a researcher which is responsible in creating some amazing blocks on different different topics but we it has to probably do a lot of research and communicate with multiple agents okay so here uh, our goal is basically to uncover groundbreaking technologies in the specific topic or i can also say this will be a news reporter which will be responsible in uh, getting all the news details okay so the third parameter here we are going to set it to verbose as true okay then next will be memory to true okay memory to true uh, these are some of the default parameters and then we will also go ahead and write our backstory so the backstory will be something okay so i will try to write it down over here some amazing backstory like this news reporter that we are trying to create right it's uh, first it has its own backstory like driven by curiosity you're not at the forefront uh, you are at the forefront of innovation eager to explore and share knowledge that could change the world so something amazing backstory we have actually developed and assigned it to the uh this specific uh, researcher or the news agent okay then we have this tools so tools we are going to use something which we will be discussing as we go ahead and then we i'm also going to define my llm model and this llm model if see if i'm not using this then by default it is expecting open ai llm model but right now it is having this uh, llm models okay then my last parameter will be allow delegation allow delegation is equal to false okay oh sorry i need to make it sure that this becomes true because uh, i want uh, this researcher to probably communicate with uh, the other agent right and uh, so we are keeping this allow delegation is equal to true now similarly what we are going to do now this person is responsible in researching the news and uh, we will try to create another person so i will just go ahead and keep this variable as 
news researcher okay and based on this news researcher there will be another agent which we will try to create so here i'm going to write create creating a, a writer agent with with custom tools um writer agent uh, or i can also say okay creating a writer agent with custom tools responsible okay responsible in writing news blog okay something like this so this will be the person and uh, similarly uh, we will also do this for this person so here i will go ahead and write uh, news writer okay so this person is basically a news writer agent role is writer narrate compelled in text stories about the topic uh, with a flair of simplifying complex topics you craft engaging narratives some back stories there right now i have not defined my tool search so this will basically be llm and uh, allow delegation is false because once the research is done and it has come to the writer th it is responsible of writer to probably write the entire blog right so that entire text story will be written by this person or <laughs> by this particular ai agent okay i'll not say person okay but this is in short doing all the people work right uh, over here now i don't need to have another researcher or uh, another writer you know it will be able to do it perfect uh, so this is the first page that we are going to work with now i'm going to go to tools okay now which tools i'm going to use right so uh, in creo ai if, when i went to the documentation right i was seeing a lot of tools so first tool uh, that is google search uh, so we have used this google serper search okay now google serper search uh, we are going to use serper dev tools serper dev tools so i'm going to use this specific tool for this tool uh, you also need to have an api key so in order to create it what is this surplus it is the world fastest and cheapest google search api again it is completely for free for 2500 queries okay so what i have done is that just go ahead and sign in and uh, you will be able to see something like this dashboard here you can see that i have accessed some of the previous request on 22nd may and 23rd may now i'll just go ahead and create my new api key so here you can use this api key and the same API key I have actually pasted in my environment variable. Okay. So again, don't use this because it is completely for free. Okay. Serper.dev. Okay. So that is the URL. So here you can see serper.dev. Okay. So you have to probably go in this URL. Uh, let me do one thing again. Uh, let me to make it better. I will just write the command over here. Okay. So that you will be able to see it Okay. Now, uh, as usual, uh, in my agents, that we have specifically discussed right so in the agents uh, i will also go ahead and import this okay and along with this i will go ahead and import os now why i'm doing it is because i will set up my environment uh, uh environment and probably os dot okay and os dot SERP API key is nothing but OS dot get so SERP API key. So we are going to do this uh, along with this. Uh, the next step again, we can see the remaining code from the crew AI website itself. That is nothing but from crew AI underscore tools imports. So SERP dev tool and we have to initialize this tool. Okay. So that is what I'm going to probably write it over here. Okay. Now one very important thing that you really need to understand this crew AI underscore tool is to be part of the requirement.txt file okay i will go ahead and import it um, and let me just go ahead and open the terminal and we will do the pip install minus r requirement.txt okay so done this is done the installation is basically happening so once this installation is happened our tools is also fine okay so let the installation happen and we are going to use this specific tool which will be a serper dev tool okay now the same tool i have to call in the agents right so here i'm going to basically write from tools import tool right so this basically is my tool now all i have to do copy and paste this tool over here okay perfect so this is the tool that we are going to use over here which was pending and again let's remove all the spaces so that we'll be able to work okay perfect uh, till here everything looks good uh now one thing in the agent we also have not specified the model right in order to see which model we are going to work on uh 
right i'm just going to click on google ai studio let's see okay and here you have multiple options of using like uh, here you have google gemini 1.5 flash you have 1.5 pro so let me just go ahead and use the jo uh, gemini 1.5 flash so here uh, what i'm actually going to do over here is that uh, let me just see the name again gemini 1.5 flash so let me just go ahead and write it down 1.5 flash okay so this is the recent model that we have in gemini uh, we are going to use this and now everything is ready in our agents right tools now for every agents uh, we also need to create some kind of task so let's go ahead and create the task now and again for creating the task uh, first of all we will go ahead and import from crew ai import task okay task from crew ai import task and uh, now we are just going to develop all our task uh, again, uh, almost uh, the task is also similar like how we have written for the agents. So let me just go ahead and copy and paste it and let's go one by one. Okay. So first of all, we have created some research task. Okay. And from this particular research task, what we have done, we have used this task class description. I have written identify the next big trend in this particular topic, whatever topic we give. Focus on identifying pros and cons and the overall narrative. Your final report should be clear, articulate the key points. It's market opportunities and potential risk. Then expected output will be a comprehensive three paragraphs long report on the latest AI trend. So this is what it is going to do. Uh, since we know that from tools, import tool. Okay. So I'm going to use this tool also. Okay. So let me just copy this over here and let me paste it over here and this will also be pasted over here now we know with respect to our agents okay uh from tools import tools let's see if this is fine why there is a red mark okay no worries okay i will call this okay that okay now one thing uh that i will be doing over here again i need to call both my news researcher and news writer right so here again i will go ahead and write from agents import import news researcher comma news underscore writer okay so both of them i will be using because here in the agent we need to replace it with this okay so these are some of the parameters that uh, we have done it okay. now once this is updated what we are going to do let's go ahead and explore this so here the expected output was nothing but a comprehensive three paragraphs long report on the latest ai trends and then uh, the next thing uh, we have for the writer task uh, for writer task you can probably see that i have so let me just go ahead and write this as writer and this will be okay right uh, right task okay so here you can see task is over here compose an insightful article on topic focus on the latest trend and how it is impacting the industry expected output is nothing but a four paragraph article on advancement formatted as markdown tool will be tool okay here we are using the agent as news writer an output file will be nothing but new blog post dot md so this will basically be created and uh, this is one of the example of output customization you can also create another type of file like txt any type of file that you want okay so all these things are done so here is my entire task uh, so here in short what you, what we have done see agents is just like persons like people news researcher news writer then we have assigned a definite task like a research task and write task. And this is specifically going to use the Google Gemini model that we have defined in the agents.py. Okay. So perfect. Uh, I think we are good to go uh, each and everything. And again, as I said, with respect to tools, this is just one of the example. You can use any tool that you want again from the crew page. Okay. Now, finally, uh, let's go ahead and import our crew and process. Now, I will go ahead and start my process from here. So for that, uh, let me just go ahead and write it completely from scratch. So here I'm going to write from crew AI import crew comma process. Okay. And then we are going to form the tech focused crew with some enhanced configuration. Okay. So finally, let's go ahead and write our crew is equal to crew. 
so we will define this specific class uh, crew is equal to crew the first parameter that is required is all the agents that we want right the second parameter that we require the kind of task that we want to execute based on this agents okay and finally the third parameter will be our process uh, there are multiple process uh, we will first of all learn about process dot sequential okay sequential and as i've already told uh, this process dot sequential what does it mean uh, this is just going to this entire code is going to or this entire execution of uh, uh, the communication between this particular agents will be completely sequential that basically means once the news researcher is completing his work then it will further carry on the results to this particular news writer so first of all, uh, when this agent is initialized, we know what kind of task is assigned to this. So it will get completed based on this particular task. And then once you get the output uh, over here, you can probably see what kind of output we want with respect to the task, right? A comprehensive three paragraph long report on the latest AI trend. Once this output is got, it will be further sent to the news writer and uh, further or more information based on that particular topic it will try to compile more text stories and then it will further use the llm model to those process right and at the end of the day based on this task it is going to give you the output file so this is completely a sequential process there is also one more process which is called as hierarchical process uh, which we are going to see in the upcoming video okay so uh, that is the reason we are selecting uh, process dot sequential now what i'm going to do from task import a research task research underscore task and this will be write underscore task okay write underscore task so this are my task that you will be able to see again you can also get an py file output file a coding file anything that you want so this task will be okay just a second research okay research task will be added over here and write task will be also added over here okay and here in the agents uh, we are again going to import from agents import and in this specific agents uh, we have we have some uh, let's see which all agents we have one is the news researcher okay news researcher and uh, okay, okay 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 news researcher and then you have news underscore writer done Perfect over here. You will be able to see my entire crew is ready. Um, now what I'm actually going to do over here is that just go ahead and use this news researcher in my agents. After that, use this news writer. Okay. Now this process uh, also is there. Sequential is also there. Now we are going to start the execution. So starting the task, task execution process with enhanced feedback okay now we are going to do this now you have the result is equal to crew dot kick off and here we are going to go with the inputs topic let me just go ahead and write topic ai in healthcare okay then finally you'll be able to see i will go ahead and write my results okay so in short, what we are doing over here is that we are just going to kick off this entire process. See, once this line is executed, right here, the topic is basically gone. This will get initialized. It knows which will be the agents that we are working with. So two agents, one is news researcher, one is new news writer, which will be working independently. Okay. Then you have this research task and write task. These are the assigned task over here with respect to this particular agents. The process that we are going to follow is sequential. Then based on these agents, it is going to go in that specific page, get out all the information and then execute, assign the LLM models and all. So here we have not used OpenAI, instead Google Gemini. So let's go ahead and execute it. And I think now hand crossed, everything should work fine. Okay. And I hope so. It works fine. So Python crew.py. Okay, so there is an error. Okay, no worries because I have to go inside this folder, right? Crew Google Gemini. No worries. So I'm going to write CD Crew Google Gemini. Okay, I'm going to clear the screen and then let's go ahead and write Python crew.py. So once we execute this, uh, here you will be able to see that um, my entire execution is basically starting. 
okay there is an error saying that uh, cannot import chat google generative ai from from uh, sorry from langchain underscore google gen ai so let me just see the documentation whether it is correct or not and let's see so agents uh, from langchain underscore google gen ai uh, now i think it should work okay so there was one spelling mistake but no worries anyhow but i will be giving you the code right so you can probably check it out so here you can see name chat google generative ai is not defined because we have imported the right thing but we have not initialized okay no worries so i will copy this i will paste it over here okay there was a spelling mistake serious spelling mistake it happens okay i'm just going to keep this error also so that you see what kind of errors we usually get okay now here you can see it has entered the new configuration change now it is probably going to do the search the internet see from the from the SERP API, it is doing the search internet. Uh, thought it is, I need to understand the current landscape of AI in healthcare to identify the next big trend. Then you have this all top 10 titles, 10 ways, all the articles it is able to scrap in the Google, right? And uh, delegate the work to the coworker. So coworker says, write a task, write a three paragraph report. See how the communication is happening. Now just imagine how powerful this amazing application or tool is, Crew AI, right? Uh, here agents are communicating with each other they are able to do something they are able to finally come up with a conclusion see then again let's let's go step by step uh, by this you'll be able to understand thought i need to research each trend gather information about description pros cons and overall net search the internet again search the internet i tried using the same i must stop using the action but i'll try something else instead i need to research each trend and gather information about description pros cons and all again search the internet then this was the personalized results um then again thought i need to research each trend and gather information so it is continuously doing that work uh, understanding the thoughts trying to communicate so thought i know the final answer final answer this 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 all the final answer is over here then the finish chain is here and here you'll be able to see this is my entire article thought i know the final answer the next big trend of ai explainable ai and responsible ai so it is just still exploring it is trying to gather more and more information and finally this is your entire a uh, page that we really wanted to create a news page that we want to create and again here also you have this particular blog page right so this entire blog page is also there so i hope uh, you were able to understand this and just in you know hardly 30 to 40 minutes we are able to create this amazing application uh, where multiple ai agents are able to communicate so yes this was it from my side i will see you on the next video thank you take care